Okay, so let's talk about how I get this dealer card face down. You can see right now it's scoring the dealer 7, and if I stand, it's going to score out the dealer hand correctly. Okay? Um, and redeal, deal, and you can see that face down, we've got a dealer score 8. So how do I do this? Well, um, what I've done is, first of all, I went into the GIMP, and I just created a card back. Uh, this is just a simple gradient, so you're going to need a graphic to represent your card back. Uh, and let's look inside of card draw. And you can see that inside of card draw, I've uh, just given that, I've initialized this card back, just like I did all my other cards. So I've got a card back that's ready to go. All right, so under what condition do I want to draw that? Well, if card num equals 501, and we're going to talk about what that 501 is in a second, uh, if it is 501, it's going to draw the card back. Otherwise, it's going to determine what the suit and the rank of the card is. All right, so let's take a look at where I'm, I'm sort of playing that game. Uh, inside of my score it method here, all right, um, actually it's inside of on draw, not where the score is yet. Um, these are this is where the dealer draws the first two cards. So we're going to loop through this, and uh, you know this is the first two cards that are dealt out to the dealer because we deal the dealer the first two cards in the deck. So Q equals zero, Q equals one. Now if Q equals zero, if it's the first card and dealer hit is less than three, in other words, the the um, the player has not clicked stand because dealer hit does not equal three or greater until the, the dealer hits stand, or so, excuse me, until the player hits stand, we're going to call card draw dot deal. We're going to pass in canvas 501, 80 times, you know, Q and then negative 600. And if we look inside of card draw, the card number, right, is the card number we're looking at in our card deck array. So in this case, if card num equals 501, draw the card back. So it will draw the first card back It'll draw the card back for the first card, all right, in the event the dealer has not clicked stand. Now, the same thing is true here with the scoring. We don't want to score that first card under those same conditions. So if it's the first card, anytime we're calculating score, and the dealer, and the, excuse me, if uh, getter setter dot dealer hit is less than three, that means the player has not clicked stand. All right, dealer hit does not increase until the uh, until the player hits uh, stand. Then the score of the card is zero. Done. So we don't score the card. We draw a card back. Card back in the event it is the first card in the deck and the player has not clicked stand. All right. So good luck making that happen. Please let me know if you have any problems.